down here in Lower Manhattan. It is the one year anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. Let's see what's going on. the one year anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. How do you think the movement's gone in the last year? What specifically have you guys accomplished? Some things that we've figured out is how to provide support to each other to uh, to uh, prevent arrests, yeah. how to support each other when people have been arrested. This is the phone number for the uh, NLG, which is the National Lawyers Guild. Okay. Um, anyone that's arrested while here is to call them pretty much as soon as they get there. Okay. What has Occupy accomplished? What have the big accomplishments been? There's actually a website called whatthefuckhasoccupydone.com, okay. and you can get hundreds of things that Occupy has done. Okay. Personally, the biggest yeah. accomplishment is is just making a presence. I mean, everyone knows it's a household uh, word now. There was the Move Your Money campaign okay. that moved billions. I think it might have been into the billion, m millions into the billions of dollars from okay. big banks into smaller banks, uh, credit unions. There was the recent permanent injunction against the um, portions of the National Defense uh, the National Defense Authorization Act that would allow for indefinite detentions. Occupy, uh, NDAA? Yes, NDAA. That's Chris Hedges, the yep. head of that lawsuit. Occupiers are plaintiffs in that lawsuit. Yeah. Have you been able to get Occupy candidates elected or at least on the ballot? To me, um, I personally believe, and I think a lot of folks in Occupy um, believe about changing the conversation outside of the electoral system. It's, but what does uh, that mean? Like electing folks based on consensus uh, rather than on the, uh, the electoral process we use now. How do we unfuck the world? Uh, I think we start by getting money out of politics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, overturning Citizens United, reinstating Glass Steagall, uh, Robin Hood tax. Uh, President Obama, have you been supportive of Occupy Wall Street? Absolutely not. The only thing I have to say that corporations are people, my friend, and uh, they are the people, and we are the pets in here. They're the people, and you're the pets. Yeah, we are. The wow! People. Don't it's frack actually, my pug. Yeah, don't frack any pugs. Don't frack any people. Don't frack your mother. That's John, uh, Sean Lennon's song. I was very um, inspired by that. Do you think Occupy's heart is in the right place? I think it is, but I I think they need a little guidance in the right I think direction. they do too. And they need a little guidance in the I right I think they, they got a little lost along the way. They did, they did. Now, I mean, I look around and I see some people who probably aren't working right now. It kind of bothers me yeah. that uh, you have to sell your soul to something in this world. All right, so uh, what, do you, what do you stand here with? I owe 130000 for a PhD and can't find a job now. Uh, I think that the whole problem is that tuition is allowed to rise indefinitely because of this huge debt system. Yes. You know, part of that has to do with federally funded student loans. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. Libertarians are awesome, and you know it. No, you're just intellectually inconsistent anarchists. <laughs>